You know, it doesn't surprise me at all that most Christians haven't read the Bible. It's long, it's repetitive, it's boring, it's pointless, and it's stupid. Why would anyone read that fucking thing? But what does surprise me is how few of them even know what it's about. Y you couldn't even bother reading the Cliff's Notes, guys? You constantly hear Christians attributing shit to the Bible that isn't there. A lot of them will tell you the Bible says God helps those who help themselves. But not only does it never say that anywhere in the Bible, that's completely antipodal to the Bible's core message. They tell you the Bible says love the sin or hate the sin, but surprise, surprise, that doesn't come from the Bible either. That actually came from St. Augustine's desperate attempts to dial the Bible back a bit. How about spare the rod, spoil the child? Nope, not in the Bible. Don't get me wrong, the Bible certainly endorses the fuck out of beating your children with rods, but somehow God wasn't able to come up with the pithy pro-child abuse slogan that stuck. Hell, the other day I was walking by a conversation and I overheard a guy saying, Well, the Bible says, know thyself. No, that's the facade at the Temple of Apollo you were thinking of, jackass. But what the hell, it's good advice, right? It should be in the Bible, so why not attribute it to the Bible? See, the big problem here is that these jackasses have convinced themselves that the Bible is some book of virtues or something. They actually think it's some collection of ethical parables that provides moral guidance. And who can blame them, right? That's what everybody told them it was. That's what the assholes who definitely knew better told them was in it. It's not like they were ever going to read it and prove them wrong, right? So instead they bumble around misquoting their own holy book and talking about living their lives by the Bible as though that would be desirable or even legal. But seriously, the fucking Bible? It's the most horrible book on earth. To pretend that thing's moral, you have to pick cherries like a recently martyred Muslim. Seriously, go get your Bible, open it to a random page, read a random passage. I'm willing to bet the vast majority of my penis that you didn't find anything moral there. Hell, you're lucky if you found something morally ambiguous. Follow the Bible, do you? Well, how many Amalekites have you killed this month? How many bulls have you sacrificed at the altar? How many armed Jewish land conquests have you participated in this year? Because that's what this fucking book is about. I'm reading the damn thing. You can't fool me into thinking this is a book about morals. It's like if I finally got around to reading the Harry Potter books and found out that there weren't any wizards in them. You know, a talented preacher can obviously spin this thing so it sounds good. Of course they can. That's their job. And that's fine if you're in the studio audience. But what about people who are playing the home game? You're actually handing people a book that explicitly endorses genocide. It plainly justifies indiscriminately murdering people that are different than you, that worship different gods than you, that ascribe to different sexual mores than you, that live in different countries than you, that have different genitalia than you. And you're telling them that this is the be-all, end-all of morality handed down from on high from the all-knowing forger of the fucking universe hard to imagine how that could go wrong you know it's like replacing the gum and baseball cards with plutonium and saying it's okay nobody eats the gum you know a commenter on our facebook page recently applauded us for our holistic reading of the bible he said that he felt like it should be required reading for atheists well i don't know if i agree with that but i'd love it if it was at least required reading for christians you know, I don't honestly think that being an atheist means you have to read the Bible, but I do think that honestly reading the Bible means you have to be an atheist.